Well, what's up everybody, I'm 720p here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do some effects with photos. And photoshops, like some of the renders, or not renders, but the shit I make on mine. Um, I had a couple people ask for this, I'm just going to use the 400 by 200 canvas with a transparent background. Something like this. And... I'm just going to start off by taking this picture and size it down just a little bit, that way I can see everything on my screen. Uh, you'll start off with a white and black, and I'm just going to go on him and find like a nice purple, blue, something like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit my tool, drag him over here, because I will be using that picture. Okay. Remember, I already got my colors, so I'm gonna go to Filter, Render, Clouds, just to give it that nice outlook on that background color. I'm gonna resize this with Control T, hold Shift in the corner, and pull this down. Okay, that's nice, like that. Um. I'm going to go ahead and copy the layer. I'm going to make sure you grab the bottom layer to be the one up under it. And I'm just going to control T, turn this guy a little bit, uh, pull it down like this, and copy. Take this layer, get my smudge tool. smudge it out. I have a custom X smudge tool that I use for stuff like this. Uh, they're not hard to make. Uh, if anyone wants me to, I will make a video on how to make smudge tools. Or like letter smudge tools. And on both of these layers, I'm just gonna do a divide on it. And then I'm going to hold control, click them, and merge the layers. That way it gives us this nice color like this. And then I'm going to take this, I'm going to duplicate it, put it above. Something like this. I'm going to take my eraser and get rid of this shit. something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer again, that way I can pull this over like that. That way it looks like he's kinda behind I guess you could say like a wall of white flames or so. Then I'm gonna take this layer again. I'm gonna use Control J but you can use, uh, just drag it down here to the new layer. I'm just gonna like just really just smudge it out on the second layer. And then I think it's going to be... Let me see. Not lighten. It's going to give us like a dark color off of it. It's not going to be... Maybe different. No, no. Let's just go with subtract. When we do that, you're just going to want to get rid of the unwanted stuff. Like, like so. I'm thinking this layer is a little too dark. Or too bright, to s per se. I'm just going to leave it at normal, then take the opacity down a little bit, like so. Uh, if you want to, like, get a flaming, or more of a flaming effect off of this sword... All I'm going to do is render this out again and pull it under everything like so. Make this a little bigger like this. Uh, apply transformation and then erase this guy in the back. Just want to kind of erase everything except for the sword itself. And then, right here, all you have is a sword. You can kind of see it. 
kind of not. I mean, you can see where the guy is to erase it. And you can do like a nice, let's see, light in color. And then you can take it and smudge it. And then you can do filter, blur, then a motion blur. And I could do like that, the smaller distance. And I don't know why I changed that. I'm going to do light near dodge. See, uh, I think this is a little bit too bright. So what I'm going to do is go back to light near dodge with the changes changed. I'm going to drag a layer to the very top. And I'm going to go down here to this little black and white circle. And I'm just going to make this a black and white image. Uh, I'm going to turn this opacity down to something like 16 or so. And then I'm going to move some of this stuff around just to like, and uh, just, just to your likings. Okay, that looks nice. And what I'm going to do now is come down here to this layer, this is this bottom part right here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it real quick, that way I don't mess up on it. And I just want to like smudge this into this side picture. You probably hear my mouse clicking. So I'm just going to delete that and leave it like it is. And this looks a little plain up here in this corner. So actually I'm just going to duplicate that. Take this. Move this around. Control T. Flip it. And place that where it looks somewhat decent. Just a quick video, guys. Uh, actually it's about 7 minutes long, but... This is just some, like somewhat of a basic of what I do in signatures and stuff. If you want me to go in a more advanced tutorial of it, uh, it's probably going to be more than one video. Because it's not extremely easy to do this stuff. Some people think you can just start on it and be amazing at it, and you don't. You have to practice makes perfect in this basically and I'm just gonna do an outer glow on here and I'm gonna make it like a nice that color then I'm gonna do a sh not a stroke but maybe a bevel and a boss and then I'm going to take the black all the way down. And give this a difference. Like so. I'm going to click right here. And change this to be how I want it to be. That looks nice. You just change the stuff to be how you want to be. I like that. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, let me know by leaving a like and a comment below. Thank you guys for watching. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.